We have with us Advocate Parvez Ahmed, Executive Member of All Parties Hurriyat Conference from Islamabad. Mr. Parvez Ahmed, thank you for your time now. Mr. Ahmed, how do you see veteran Kashmiri leader Sayyid Ali Ilani's lifelong struggle for the Kashmiri's right to self-determination? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a very bad day for the people of Jammu and Kashmir and very unfortunate. And I'm highly thankful to Indus News when you know complete in the media gags in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Landlines have been put off, internet suspended, and people have been barred from coming out of their homes and curfew have been imposed. So, Kilani Saab's uh, whole life is, uh, we can say, the full of struggle. Uh, since he started his political career, he started with the slogan that we have to accede with the state of Pakistan and uh, the popular slogan, which is in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, when, when any person dies, any person is being martyred by the Kashmiri, by Indian forces, the slogan is raised up, we are Pakistanis and Pakistan is ours. This slogan has been introduced by Sayyid Ali Gilani. You can say that Sayyid Ali Gilani was living Pakistan in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, and this strong voice has been silenced. I can say because he was uh, put in uh, incarceration, he was put in house arrest for the last 10 years. Continuously, he was not given access to any medical doctor or any medical team, which accelerated his death. But uh, I can the, I can tell you with authority that Gilani Saab's personality has influenced almost all Kashmiris and especially the youth. It was Sayyid Ali Gilani who is, who by his speeches, by his motivation, by his persuasion, brought the youth of occupied Jammu and Kashmir behind this moment. So it is a great loss to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Rightly said, Mr. Ahmed. I mean, even on this day, we are seeing the Indian terrorist in Dathwa led forces uh, surrounding his house now. India has deployed large contingents of police and paramilitary troops outside Sayyid Ali Gilani's home. What resistance New Delhi can face in occupied Kashmir after his death in house arrest? Uh no, no, exactly what I want to tell you. Yesterday, when this news uh, spread that Sayyid Ali Gilani has passed away, the moment uh, the red alert was uh, issued by the government of India, knowing the fact that people of Jammu and Kashmir have a great love for their leader, because uh, Sayyid Ali Gilani was a symbol of resistance and iconic leader of Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Before this, India, a few uh, months before, just spread a rumor that Sayyid Ali Gilani uh, was uh, no more, and they were just testing the nerves of the people of Jammu and Kashmir, how people of Jammu and Kashmir will react. And uh, today, when they came to know that uh, Sayyid Ali Gilani has passed, the first time, the first thing we they did, that they were, they just barricaded the roads and the, all the armed forces in the barracks came on the streets and every nook and corner of the Kashmir was blocked. So the people were not even allowed to go to the mosques because. They, we have seen yesterday the youth coming from their uh, homes and making the announcements in different masks. These masks were raided. So, so India was knowing that the, the, the dead Gilani will be more dangerous for them. So they have. This is the reason that they have imposed a strict curfew in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. But uh, I will, I will, uh, I will assure you that definitely there will be resistance despite the, this curfew because this. I have seen just. I was watching uh, the Facebook and Twitter. The couple of statements uh, have been issued yesterday before his. Uh, Death by a couple of people, by youth, that they will come out from their homes and they will uh, definitely go to Mazari Shoda. Although they, they, he was not buried in Mazari Shoda, and a call has been already given by Al Qarti's Suriyat Conference that people should come tomorrow on Friday, people should come out of their homes and they should uh, attend uh, the Mazari Shoda. They, will, they should offer the prayers for Mazari there. And in Islamabad uh, at Hassel Massacre, 
the Kashmiris and the Pakistanis, the Kashmiris living in uh, Islamabad and Rawalpindi and all other walks of the people of, from other all walks of their life, they will be attending tomorrow's uh, funeral. That will be that uh, in absentia, we are going to offer the prayers at Fasal Mask. So what I mean to say that India was knowing that because India has kept Sayyid Ali Gilani in, uh, in house arrest for the last uh, uh, 10 years, knowing the fact that if Ali, Sayyid Ali Gilani will be given a little space and he will be allowed to come out of his home, that definitely there will be a major change in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir because people have great love for Sayyid Ali Gilani and just to see him, see his glimpse, glimpses, the people were always uh, waiting outside his house, but although they were never allowed to see Sayyid Ali Gilani. So Gil, Sayyid Ali Gilani is, although it is a big loss to the people of Jammu and Kashmir, but it will strengthen the resolve of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. They, they will carry forward the mission, the slogan which has been given by Sayyid Ali Gilani, and definitely I hope in near future, the moment, the moment will get more and more momentum against India. Right now, Mr. Ahmed, also tell us how much the Kashmiris movement for freedom will be affected after Gilani's death. No, surely there is a definitely it will make effect, but it will not make because uh, the, the major problem at this time is that there is a leadership vacuum in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Although India dubs it leadership crisis, but it is a vacuum because the towering leadership of the Jammu and Kashmir is behind the bars. We have Masarat Alam, we have Shabir Ahmad Shah, Asya Andrabi, and others. They are in Indian jails and they are being forced by India to sign an agreement that if they will be released, they will not take part in in the political uh, movement of Jammu and Kashmir. Although there is a there is a hard time has come to the people of Jammu and Kashmir, but I'm sure that people of uh, the youth of Jammu and Kashmir, especially the second tier, has been trained by Sayyid Ali Gilani. It will not make uh, more difference, but there is a there is we have to take uh, the serious measures and all parties will get conferences assembling here as well as. Uh, in uh, Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, and within a day or two, we will definitely give our our uh, line of action how to tackle the situation. Right now, also lastly, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has announced a day of national mourning. How do you see Pakistan's support for the Kashmiri people? No, no, people. Uh, Sayyid Ali Gilani was most respectable leader in Pakistan because uh, last year Pakistan uh, gave uh, Sayyid Ali Gilani Hilal -e Imti as one of the highest awards of the Pakistan. Uh, and uh, Pakistan, wa uh, Sayyid Ali Gilani was a credible voice in, Jammu, in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir who always in his life promoted status uh, accession with the state of Pakistan. So the Pakistan, in this time is a very crucial time for the people of Jammu and Kashmir because they have lost a, a, a symbolic leader, a towering leader of Jammu and Kashmir. So at this time, it is very encouraging that uh, uh, that the, the state of Pakistan has uh, announced in mourning on the side of Ali Gilani. The government of Azad Jammu Kashmir has also announced that they will they will uh, offer the uh, this uh, fatah in Abyssinia. So it is very encouraging, and at this time, the Pakistan we Pakistan has to stand with us. Because at this time, we are very, very, very sad. The people of Jammu and Kashmir, on one hand, they have lost their great leader, and on the second hand, the Indian repression uh, is there, and people are not coming out of their homes. So we are thankful to Pakistan. They have showed their concern, and they have they have always honored Sayyid Ali Gilani's contributions to the to the to the freedom movement of Jammu and Kashmir. Right now, Advocate Parvez Ahmed, executive member of all parties, Hurith Conference. Thank you for talking to Indus News.